Jeremiah verse 25. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. This was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar as king of Babylon. Jeremiah the prophet said to all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, even until now, the word of the Lord hath come to me, and I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking, but you have not listened. And the Lord has sent you to all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but you have not heard, nor have you inclined your ear to hear. They said, Turn away again now, everyone, from your evil ways and from the evil deeds, and live in the land that the Lord gave to you and to your fathers forever and ever. And do not worship other gods, and provoke my anger with the idols made by your hands, and I will not harm you. Yet you have not listened to me, says the Lord, making your idols to anger me with the works of your hands to your own detriment. This said the Lord of heaven's armies, because you have not heard my words. I will send and take all the families of the north, says the Lord, and Nebuchadrezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will bring them against this land and against its inhabitants and against all these nations nearby and will utterly destroy them and make them an object of astonishment, hissing, and perpetual desolation. Also, I will take from them the voice of happiness and laughter, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. Your millstones will become silent and your candles will be dark. And this whole land will be a desolate place and these nations will serve the king of Babylon for 70 years. After 70 years, I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, says the Lord, for their sins and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetually desolate. I will bring upon that land all the terrors I have promised in this book which Jeremiah has prophesied against all the nations. Many nations and great kings will enslave the Babylonians, and I will punish them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. This is what the Lord God of Israel said to me. Take the wine cup of this fury from my hand and cause all the nations where I send you to drink it. And they will drink and stagger and be mad from the sword that I will send against them. Then I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations drink it, every nation where the Lord had sent me. I went to Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and their kings and their princes to make desolation, an astonishment, a hissing, and a curse as it is today. I gave the cup to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people. And all the foreigners, and all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, and Ashkelon, and Azar, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod, Edom, and Moab, and the children of Ammon, and all the kings of Tyrus, and all the kings of Zidon, and the kings of the isles which are beyond the sea, Dedan, and Tema, and Buz, and all the distant corners, and all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the nomadic tribes that dwell in the desert, and all the kings of Zimri, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of the Medes, 
and all the kings of the north, far and near, one after another, and all the kingdoms of the world, and finally the king of Babylon. Now tell them, this is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says, Drink from the cup of my anger, and be drunk, and vomit, and fall, and rise no more, for I am sending terrible wars against you. And if they refuse to take the cup, then say to them, The Lord of heaven's armies says, You will certainly drink. I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, Jerusalem, and should you be utterly unpunished? You will not be unpunished, for I will call for a war upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Now prophesy all these words and say to them, The Lord will roar from above and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He will mightily roar to everyone on earth. He will loudly shout like those who tread grapes against everyone on earth. A noise will come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them who are wicked to the sword, says the Lord. The Lord of heaven's army says, Look, evil will spread from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind will be raised up from the distant corners of the earth. And the slaughtered of the Lord will be then from one end of the earth to the other. They will not be mourned, nor gathered, nor buried. They will be dung upon the ground. Howl, shepherds, and cry, and roll in the ashes, you leaders of the flock, for the days of your slaughter and of your dispersions are accomplished, and you will shatter like a precious vase. Listen to the frantic cries of the shepherds. The leaders of the flock are wailing in despair, for the Lord has spoiled their pastures and the peaceful meadows will be turned into a wasteland by the fierce anger of the Lord. He has left his den like the lion, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the Lord and because of his fierce anger.